clean and we can point out the things that are... Uh, you, you did that one. Oh, yeah. And I can't read it. See? All I can do is go by people I know. Well, and there's Ted Williams. You know, one of the stories I liked about you and Ted, mm -hmm. because like you said, gotcha, he was oh, always, always trying to figure out a way to oh. beat you. And the day that he challenged you to a game of golf, because oh, yeah, he figured you could, he well, could beat you in golf. We, we started out, and Ted said uh, something went wrong with his motor on the boat. Right. They're going to pick up the boat. He said, so we got some time. I think it's about time we have some competition. And I said, well, it's fine, Ted. What do we do? Well, casting, I thought about that, and I might be close to you in distance, but accuracy. I remember when you broke balloons off a girl's <laughs> breast. Yeah, in, the shows. Uh, and I don't think I could come up with that, so we'll discard that. Now, tennis, I was going to play tennis with you, but your tennis partner won Wimbledon. And I know you're pretty high up in the tennis business, so that's, that's out. We're going to play golf. He said, you go in there, back in my showroom, and pick out a set of clubs, come back, and I'll call up and get us a reservation. So I came back in, and Ted said, uh, would well, you get what you need? I said, Ted, they're all left-handed. <laughs> He said, why do you think I choose golf? I got gotcha. you! <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what time that he got me. Yeah, okay, that's Ted now, with the what stripping happened, basket. Yeah. We fished for three or four years. Finally, Ted said, uh, one day we're out, and he said, let me try that thing. And so he put it on, and he said, you get up on the seat and pull the boat, and I'll, I'll fish him. He said, we got in that night, and he said, uh, it's not too bad, McGuire. The first thing he said when I said, he said, what the hell is that you got on? <laughs> and yeah. I said, that's a stripping basket. And he said, what are you going to strip? <laughs> he's just a smart ass, you know. Uh, so uh, we got home that night, and he said, now you go in the hammock, I'll bring you a drink. Don't come out in the shop, and uh, I'll be out in a little bit. Well, about half hour later, he came out. He had this stripping bag. <laughs> he had been doing this for weeks, uh, okay. making this thing. Oh, 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 oh. I remember him saying, oh, what do you think of that, huh? Oh, he fashioned his own. So That's he built great. this big one of his own, and I swear, when he died, he took that thing with him because he'd never <laughs> been without a big tarp in there. I've got a 12-pound test leader. That was a big one. Well, now that's right. And that big tarp in there, as you told me, you were only allowed to use 12-pound tests. That's right. That's what the uh, they had <clears throat> their tournaments. Mm -hmm. And they did have finally 12, 20, 30 different oh, okay one limits. category yeah but in the 12 pound category no one had been ever able to land one right so they allowed us then to use a little what do you call it a shock leader a shock leader yeah and so i got that but still you're at 12 pound no matter what you're doing well this shock leader i can see is only about Maybe a foot long. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what they were. I think they were covered to a foot. Well, I can see why you wouldn't be able to land one of these things. They're but, hard bone. They would just uh, oh, snap a 12-pound leader. Well, it wasn't until really we come into, I was at Hormasasa, where they were using hookless. Barbless. Barbless hooks. Right. And they did find out that uh, they were catching more fish because each time you would jump, you got down, that could work its way in more. Exactly. Not only that, but we could get it out of the fish and not hurt the fish and let it go. Exactly.
This is Dave Graybill, the fishing magician, and when I fish the Upper Columbia and the Madhow Rivers for steelhead, I stay at the Lake Pateras Inn. I can tie my boat right up out front and be minutes from the action. The famous Miller Hole on the Madhow is less than two miles away. The rooms are comfortable and surprisingly affordable, and I'll be making the Lake Pateras Inn my base camp. To learn how to book your room at the Lake Pateras Inn, log on to lakepaterasmotorinn.com or call 866-444-1985. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. Boating is something the whole family can enjoy, and it's surprising how affordable a new boat can be from Bob File Boats and Motors. Stop in today and take a look at the largest selection of boats in North Central Washington, including top names Bayliner and Tahoe. Bob File Boats and Motors can help you find that boat that fits your needs. And whether it's for fishing or just a ride on the water, you can be sure your new boat will provide hours of fun for years to come. Visit the boating experts today. Bob File Boats and Motors on the Sunset Highway in East Wenatchee, the place to buy a boat. Well, Don came out with, he was uh, the head of the fisheries department. That's right. For Washington, Many years, in the yes. salt water. Mm -hmm. Right. And he came out with a hookless, a barbless hook. He made that a regulation. Right. Yeah. And I remember the newspapers coming out and kidding him and saying, I suppose the next thing he'll come out with is a hookless leader. That's right. He wasn't very popular. No. <laughs> but Ole uh, Olson, my, my friend, uh, was a commercial fisherman. He said it's the greatest thing that ever happened because they could release fish they didn't want. Absolutely. And they got. He's only two men on this boat, on this trawler. They can right. get it out faster. Yeah, yeah. So and was, Don uh, Moose, yeah. who was the, the director of fisheries, right. he, he did some amazing things oh, while he yeah. was there. And he still still has lunch with us every Tuesday and uh, Friday. That's right. As and long as you got a ride. That's right. Hell, he's younger than I am by four or five years. Is but, he? Yeah, yeah. I just don't have to have a cane yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, here's a picture of Joe Brooks. I think yeah, that's there, what we were Joe. looking at earlier. You fished all over the world with him, oh, a lot in Canada yeah. and Alaska. Well, how this happened, when I uh, came from California back to Washington, born in Washington, of course, right. uh, they didn't have any casting clubs. No. And so here. when I uh -uh. got ready to go home, that's why I said this is the end of my casting. I'm uh, going back there and they don't have any casting clubs. That's right. So I can't keep being president, so I give them back the president's badge. Yeah. And I moved up here, but I did have preceding me was I had a pretty good name. I was known around the fishing. Oh stuff. yeah. So it wasn't too long after that I was known as Mr. Steelhead. Oh. Now, where I met Joe Brooks, <coughs> it was on the telephone. Oh. He called and said uh, who he was and that he wants to do a story on Steelhead. And he understood that I was Mr. Steelhead. <laughs> and could I come out and meet him? And he came out, and I hired him for Eddie Bowers to help represent uh, the catalog. Oh. And that's when Joe did uh, this uh, thing here. I'll bring it over there, make it easier for you. It was the most well-written, you find it where it is. Yeah. Right here. There it is. There it is. There's Mr. Steelhead. It was the finest, uh, most talked about, written ever on Steelhead. 
Hi, this is Dave Graybill, the fishing magician, and when you see me on the road, you'll notice I'm driving a Ford from your town Ford in Wenatchee. Ford trucks and SUVs are built for the demands of pulling a big boat to some of the remote locations I like to fish. There isn't a launch that's too rough for these tough Ford trucks. When you're looking for a new fishing rig, be sure to check out the Ford lineup like the famous F-150. The folks here at your town Ford will treat you right and you'll be happy you chose Ford for your fishing fun. The Evan Root e -Tech. It's a dream come true. For e -Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyles Boats and Motors in Kashmir. 663-5191. The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Graybill, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. Here we are. Yeah, here's the ah, beginning. Ah, this what we want. How does it start? Bill McGuire was... There you go. I said you don't have to go any further. <laughs> That's... Start all your damn pictures yeah. with Bill McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill. So that's when I first oh met Oh, my uh, gosh. Uh, Joe. And look at these fish. Oh, man. There's Joe with a 20-pounder. Oh, yeah. No wonder you're known as the Mr. Yeah, Steelhead. We had... Uh, and this was up on the Babine. That was on the Babine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the Babine. You really introduced the world to the Babine uh, River. Right. Here it was to start with. Oh, and this I was this. your offering. Okay. That was first start. This is Mac Anderson. Uh, he was a Canadian bush oh, pilot. Right. And he started this uh, Babine, but he was... Uh, where I oh was my casting gosh. down in California, he had a little book stand. And when I come off the stage, that's when I would get for Debbie Reynolds there, right. I had a different star each night. And I would walk past his booth, and <laughs> he had a projector going, and I saw these huge steelhead. Yes. And we got to be friends, and he said, I'm trying to get this camp going. Yeah. Could you, you're well known here, and could you get a little group together and yeah. come up on me? Yeah. I'd like to see what you think and help me get this started. Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> well this I, I love. Look Here's the, the rates. Oh. To fish the Babine River at the time, it was $25 per person per day <laughs> or $20, $35 per day for the cabin, cabin with extra facilities. Uh, that provided the boats and everything and an experienced guide service for two days for $12 a day I know, for I a coffee. I guess I didn't oh love my that. goodness, that's just amazing. I'm so glad I saved that. And this article, this that launched uh, your friendship with Joe Brooks yeah. and the Babine River, this is Outdoor Life, October 1968. He was, um, we were down to Ala Maranda and Lefty Cray, who he said we got a show about the day. Yep, there's Lefty Cray, and he, he was one of just, the biggest names in fly fishing now. Right, well, yeah. he was, didn't have a job. And Lefty and I used to get an airboat and go back in the Everglades fishing together. And he was just ah. a little ball-headed kid and he didn't have a job, but he was learning to write. Yes. And he came one morning and I was sitting there with Joe and Mary and Joe had uh, all the books up there, they're all Joe's. Yeah. Uh, he said, Lefty, you read this thing and he was helping him write. He said, I think you're ready to go to work. And Lefty said, I'm ready, what can I do? 
He said, well, I, as you know, I represent the Miami Herald. And he said, I'm going to quit because I've uh, been offered the job of uh, uh, fishing editor at this magazine there. Yes. And uh, I can recommend you for the job. Your the dream job. Time. The fishing writer job. for the Miami Herald. Right. And Joe just gave handed it to him. Left me that job. Hey, I've talked to him, and I think you can get hired. And <laughs> oh. they hired him. That was Lefty's first job. And Lefty, oh, had a wonderful career there. Oh, yeah. He wrote thousands so, of articles, fishing all over the but world. That was so funny when Joe kept saying. I don't know why this outsole there with that same book of thumbs. I'm just saying, I don't know why. I don't know that way. <laughs> That's wonderful. Wow. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter, state and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. Trout lakes are opening throughout the region, so it's time for fishing family fun. You can count on Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee to have everything you need to outfit your family for the season. The rods and reels for youngsters up to what the pros use is on the shelves at Hooked on Toys with the best prices you'll find anywhere. Don't miss out on the fun of spring trout season. Get to Hooked on Toys, 144 North Wenatchee Avenue or log on to HookedOnToys.com. Honey, you are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste, 60% less sugar? Mm. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to Yeah, out. they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Long Beach Casting Long Beach Club. Casting Club. Mm -hmm. And that was a fellow that started me off. This gentleman right here. And was my good friend ever since. See, in California, they had casting clubs all up and down oh, the coast. Oh, it was yeah. a big deal. They had one in Pasadena, one in uh, Burbank, mm -hmm. one in, uh, uh, of course, Long Beach. And the big one was down in San Diego. Yes. And they had a big one down at... Uh, the other end of the thing. The big uh, hotel uh, down there, the Dell, the yeah, Del Mar. What was that? They had a huge fish. I'm trying to there. think of the other end of it. San Francisco. Oh. Golden Gate Anglers Club. That's right. Yeah. And that, I think, still is going. I've met oh, some that's people that still com yeah. compete with that. Uh, I was going to add Fred Fox here. Frederick Lewis Fox. I uh -huh. see him over there. Fred Fox with a big brook trout right, right there. Well, he loved to photograph my wife, who was runner-up to Mrs. America. There's a picture oh, of her. Gorgeous. And her name was Wilma. Uh huh. Well, he used to write me up on Ellis Cinders. He did that comic strip. For, oh. It was well known throughout uh -huh. the country. Every week I was doing something with Ellis Cinders. Teach her to ski, teach oh, her to do really? this or yeah. that. Always get me in there. So, and he loved taking pictures of women. So it wasn't too long after that the Flintstones come out, uh -huh. and if you remember, the fellow come in. He said, "Wilma, I'm <laughs> home." Right. Well, that's where they got the name. But he got such a kick from out your of wife, that. from my wife. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So, that's just amazing. <laughs> so I used to say that every night. <laughs> Wilma, oh, I'm sure. I'm home. <laughs> ah, here's a funny one. That was uh, all these big trout. Well, that was it. Uh, <coughs> 
Big Bear Lake. Oh. California. Okay. Now, is it up there? The sunfish? Yeah. Yeah, that's 700 pounds? 700 oh my goodness. Pounds. Oh my god. That's my wife there. Took about six people on the boat playing it all afternoon. <clears throat> um, we kept it because we got a hold of the Miami fisheries and they said, Oh. Try to keep the fish. It's never been known to one to take a lure or bait. Oh. Interesting. They wanted to check it through. Yeah, they see those off the coast of Washington even, I know. Yeah, can't get them all. <laughs> and this is something you said you're really proud of, Bill. Uh -huh. And that's being well, one of the people that's listed in Who's Who. This was included in the 2001 edition, uh, limited to individuals who have demonstrated leadership and achievement in their occupation, industry, or profession. I can see That's why you're proud of that. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you.